Hi, my name is Iga and you're watching Pixie and the Notes. Today I would like to talk about my favourite airy fragrances. So if you're interested, then keep on watching. So personally for me, airiness in a fragrance and spaciousness in a fragrance is something that I personally love in my perfumes and I have quite a few. Uh, three fragrances that I'm gonna discuss I don't have full bottles of, I'm gonna tell you why. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. So the first fragrance I would like to discuss, uh, I don't have a full uh, bottle of, I just sprayed it, uh, and it's Almond Jane by, um, sorry, so it's Almond Woman by Almond Jane. And the first time I tried this fragrance, I was floored. I was ecstatic. I was so excited because it is the actually the fragrance that made me think of making this video in the first place. So Almond Woman is basically the most airy and spacious fragrance I've ever smelled. It's fantastic. Uh, unfortunately, uh, this fragrance uh, gives me some tension headache. After a while, I, I develop a headache and it makes me cry because this fragrance is heavenly. So, for me, with Almond Jane, Almond Woman, I get this image of spending a day on a beach, but not in summertime, it's not a tropical beach. It's like a solitary, empty, kind of windy, misty beach, but it's not cold, so your skin warms up a little bit with, with the sunlight. So your whole skin smells like like wind, like all that beautiful vast space in front of you, a little bit of that uh, sea breeze, the sand, all the natural smells around you and then all that your skin infused with all those uh, smells, you walk into uh, a nearby uh, pine forest and your skin warms up even a little bit more so everything is just wafting and mixes with the smell of of pine trees around you and you also get the, the sandiness and a little bit of that dry texture of grass and yeah and air it's absolutely fantastic. I love this fragrance. Nothing has wowed me that much in a very long time. I wish I could wear it without suffering. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Uh, probably if I could pick one airy fragrance that is the most amazing for me, that would be it. Another airy fragrance that I don't own the full bottle of, mainly because of the ridiculous price, um, is another 13 from the Labo. I, I put it on my, on my skin because I feel on paper it simply just disappears. This is a big dose of ISO super and molecular stuff. So it gets the airiness from molecules. Um, it doesn't smell extremely natural. While Almond Woman smells really like nature, you, you get this feel of natural uh, surroundings. Here, uh, it's quite the opposite. It's something made in the lab. Duh, the labo, right? But, it's not, it's not the feeling um, of wind maybe you get here, but kind of of, a, of an open space, a clean, pristine, slightly cold 
vast space. It also smells, it also has the same quality of a warmed up your skin but better smell. It's almost, it combines th these two beautiful qualities, warmth and cold. Uh, but the price of this fragrance is absolutely ridiculous. I, I wouldn't be able to justify getting a bottle off of another 13, although I really, really enjoy it. But for my Polish um, friends, uh, I have to tell you that recently I discovered that there is a dupe for this uh, from uh, our Polish jewellery brand called uh, Kruk. Uh, and it's called Air. Uh, it's, um, it's from the Freedom Collection. Uh, uh, they, uh, the, they have four elements uh, um, covered and the air is actually something that is very very close to uh, Le Labo, another 13. And I'm, I'm, I'm debating. I'm debating getting a full bottle of that. Another one that I don't own a full bottle of, but I also absolutely love. Uh, and in this case, uh, it, it, it's not airiness. It is, I'm, I'm talking about Ganymede from Marc Antoine Beauvoir. And we can't speak of airiness here because it smells like a cosmic space and there is no air in the in the spa in, in space but you get this very like huge vastness in front of you mineral spacious endless So you get this mineral cosmic space, cosmic vastness in Ganymede. Yeah, like hovering among the stars. Beautiful. I, I must say, <laughs> after spraying all these fragrances, they are all quite potent because they are packed with molecules, molecular uh, molecules, like ISOE Super, these things hold on. So after recording this video, I will, I will be in trouble. <laughs> yeah, but Ganymede is definitely one of my favorite spacious fragrances. Okay, on to full bottles. Uh, the one that I would like to discuss first is Gypsy Water from Vibrato. And I must say, I've been walking around this fragrance for quite a long time and I finally got it. <sighs> Vibrato Gypsy Water. is also this beautiful, natural smelling, visit in the forest, among beautiful sunlight, all those, uh, the smell of wood, the warmth of the sun on your skin, the space, this kind of boho feel. It's really beautiful, really, really beautiful. And it, it really captures the essence of open space and airiness. Another airy fragrance that stole my heart is Molecule 01 plus Iris from Eccentric Molecules. Uh, I smelled it last year and I was immediately wowed. So this is like ISOE Super, so the, the basic one with, uh, with a note of Oris uh, added. And 
yeah, it combines the airiness, the uh, the spaciousness of of the the basic molecule O1 with this beautiful carroty, effervescent, slightly dry iris. And when you wear it, it this fragrance doesn't sit on your skin. It's just surrounds you with this beautiful light effervescent cloud it's it gives you this this feel of something very whimsical very uh very light very ethereal almost like a this could be the smell of some kind of the you know misty fairy it smells kind of purplish it has this purple hue it's like tool like veil all that ephemeral delicate stuff and it lasts forever on fabric when you spray it on a fabric it will waft with this beautiful soft fluffy effervescent gorgeousness uh, yeah you can tell I, I love this fragrance the last three will be slightly different. They aren't maybe something that you would typically think immediately uh, when you th think about airy fragrances uh, because um, they have other added qualities. Uh, and the first one is Mikalef Royal Vintage. And this is mainly a woody fragrance for me, aromatic woody fragrance. But what makes it stand out for me and what makes it so appealing is the added airiness. So again, you have the, these aromatic green fresh woods mixed with slightly dry texture of, of also of wood with slight fruitiness added this is absolutely beautiful this is everything I wanted Aventus to smell people compare it to Aventus and I, I can see why I can see that but it's for me personally it's much better so it's also like walking through woods and the light is going through the canopy of, of leaves and you get this hazy soft light going through the leaves and you and you have this feeling of it being in nature and being free i think the airy fragrances uh, for me personally they give give me this feeling of freedom they give me this mm, sensation that I can breathe they give me space they give me like personal space they don't suffocate me they don't sit on the skin and I love it they make beautiful office scents because they won't uh, be bothering other people people will smell you but it won't be annoying I love I love wearing this to work. Okay, so another one is also not a typical airy fragrance, and this is Club de Nuit Milestone. Um, the the clone basically of um, Milasim Imperial from Creed. So here we have. Uh, mainly this salty marine uh, feel so we are at the beach it's a beautiful sunny warm day also your skin gets warmed up almost heated up with uh, uh, with, with, with the heat of the Sun it gets a little bit sweaty and salty and also you get all the, the saltiness and breeziness and this slightly uh, 
marine smell from 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 the from the sea in the breeze and in the meantime you get hungry and you you munch on some watermelon or melon you get this wateriness and fruitiness of of that fruit and it's dripping on your uh, on your hands and you get the 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 smells like the mix the, the 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 everything that you have on your like the warmth of your skin the sun the salty breeziness the salty uh, breeziness of your sweat and, and the sea and some of that uh, some of that sweet watery fruitiness yeah and all of that mixed with the wind that the slight breeze that you have uh, on the beach so this is also like a very pleasant, airy, breezy fragrance. I love it. And the last, but certainly not least, but probably the least um, typical for an airy fragrance. Uh, I mean, Tempo from Diptyque. Again, so this is not a typical airy fragrance, but as I said in my uh, single uh, review of Tempo, here you also have this feeling of being in nature, in being in open space, in some misty autumn forest with damp leaves and some mist around you and it also gives you this feeling of like open space in nature uh, but here it's more like damp and dark and more mysterious this is not the uh, the typical bright clear um, pristine um, airiness. It's more mysterious and and dark. Not your typical airy fragrance but definitely as I said uh, in the review this is what makes it so special for me. So you get this beautiful patchouli with with this airiness added to it. Let me know if you like airy fragrances, if you have any favorites, and thanks for watching and see you next time.